We are looking back at Webster Arts' first Chalk Fest that was held in Old Webster Business District on August 7th, 2021. We invited members of the community to get a space and bring their creativity and show the community what they can do. Uh, to participate in a Chalk Fest, it's pretty simple. You need chalk and it could be any kind. A hat and sunscreen is always great if it's a beautiful day. You need a kneeler or some sort of cushion to protect your knees while you're down on the pavement. Um, and then you can bring some other tools you may have at home like a chalkboard eraser or cloth or even a paintbrush mixed with water so you can blend your colors and really make some different tones and shades while you work. So at Webster Arts, we love to think of some events that can engage the whole family. So kids and adults can participate at the same time. We know that kids love arts and they love a hands-on experience. And so this is a great way to get them engaged and not have to worry if you're a professional artist, your talents are always welcome. So for our first Chalk Fest, we invited professional artist Craig Thomas, who's actually out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, to come and also do a piece that the community could really actually engage with. So he created an illusion of a hole in the street with a landscape and a bridge to cross over the hole. It was a piece of artwork that the community could actually like stand on and get their picture taken. It's very important for the community to come out and, and uh, to participate in the uh, cultural aspects of these festivals. I mean, they're fun, first of all. They're interactive and, uh, and it brings people together in a, a new uh, social way. Part of this street painting is you have to have audience participation to see it because it's ephemeral. So if the people don't come to see it or participate, then they'll miss the whole cultural aspect of it. Webster Arts loves to put on community events that really engage with people and, and give them more than just something to look at. So yes, people can come by and see what we are doing, but they can also really engage and have a hands-on experience. We know that people are always looking for something creative to do. Throughout the year, we do several events that involve the community. One of our most popular ones is Paint Webster, which happens every May. And we also have the Webster Arts Fair, which happens in June, where we bring in over 100 artists from across the country. If you're interested in learning more about the programming at Webster Arts, you can always go to our website, which is www.webster-arts.org. With Webster Groves being the city of the arts, it just makes sense to keep providing opportunities for people in the community to come get engaged in the arts.